Pinocchio spent three months in the magnificent palace, and every evening the beast came to watch her while she ate supper. The young girl had got used to the beast's ugly face, and instead of dreading his visits, she would often look at her watch to see if it would soon be nine o'clock, for the beast used to come at that time. Beauty was very upset by the fact that every night the beast asked her to marry him. And every night he appeared to be stricken with grief when she replied no. My dear beast, I really am upset. I'd like to be able to marry you, but I'm much too sincere to let you believe that that could ever be. I'll always be your friend. Isn't that enough for you? It will have to be. But will you promise me that you'll never leave me? I suppose I could promise, but I really would like to see my father again. Would you refuse my wish? I would rather die than hurt you. I'll send you to your father's house. You can stay there and your beast will die from a broken heart. No, no. I like you too much to want you to die because of me. If you let me go, I promise to come back in a week. All right, then. You'll be at your father's house in the morning. But don't forget your promise. You've only got to put your ring on the table when you are in bed. As soon as you feel you want to come back here again. that you are here. I'm here because of the beast's kindness. I went to bed last night in the palace and by magic I woke up here this morning. Have you noticed that our sister is even more beautiful than ever? And have you seen that chest in her room full of beautiful clothes and jewels? She really is too lucky. I've got an idea. Beauty told us that she promised to go back to the Beast's Palace in a week's time. Let's try and get her to stay here more than a week. Then the Beast will become angry and perhaps he'll eat her. If that happens, 
we'll be able to share her jewels and her clothes. You're right. We must work out a plan. We must be Beauty, my dear sister. The week has gone by like a dream. Please don't go back to the Beast's palace. If you do go back, we'll never get over it. Beauty, I'm sure that the Beast can get on quite well without you in his beautiful palace. Please stay here a little longer. Have you noticed how happy our father has been since you came back home? Oh, my dear sisters. I know very well that if I stay here any longer, the Beast will be very sad. But he's so kind, he'll understand. I'll stay here a week longer, and then I'll go back to the Beast again. Oh, Our beauty. beauty, you're really too kind. We love we you. We love you. What's wrong this morning, Beauty? You look so pale and sad. I had a terrible dream. I saw the beast lying on the grass near a canal. He was dying, and he reproached me for my ingratitude. This evening I'll put my ring on the table, and tomorrow I'll be back in his palace again. Oh, I'm so worried. <laughs> After looking for the beast all over the palace, Beauty remembered her dream and ran down to the garden near the canal. She found the beast lying stretched out unconscious and she thought that he was dead. Beauty threw herself down beside him and when she had felt his heart to see if it was still beating, she took some water in her hands and sprinkled it on his head. Beauty, why? Forget your promise. I was so sad at losing you that I made up my mind never to eat again. Now I'll die happy because I've seen you. Once more. No, my dear beast, you are not going to die. You are going to live and you'll become my husband. I thought that I was nothing more than your friend. But suddenly I realized I couldn't possibly live without seeing you. But who are you, handsome prince? Where is the beast? You see him here, at your feet. A wicked fairy had turned me into a beast, and I was condemned to stay ugly and horrible until the day that a beautiful young girl agreed to marry me. You are the only person in the world who saw the goodness of my heart. Give me your hand, and we shall go back to the palace where your family is waiting for us. We shall be married today. to me in my dream. Beauty, you have just received your reward. You preferred goodness to beauty and intelligence. 
You deserve to find all these qualities in one person. You will become a great queen. As for you, you wicked sisters, I know of your treachery and the envy which has eaten away at your hearts. You will be turned into statues. You will still be able to think in spite of being stoned. And you will stay at the gates of beauty's palace until the day when you see just how wicked you have been. But I rather think that you will stay in statues forever.